Well, so we want to give you an update on the Sugar CRM real estate uh, application that uh, we started developing a few years ago. And uh, we're now running on the latest version of Sugar. And uh, this was a, a sort of a major rewrite for us because we had to go back and kind of redo everything because so many things changed. But uh, so we want to kind of talk you about the, the basis for the system and why some of the things are in it. So to start with, um, let me do a short slide presentation to talk a bit about you know what agents need. And having run my own company, uh, having run my own real estate firm, you know we looked at the systems that were out there, and they were either proprietary um, and expensive to use, and they really did not do an end-to-end -end, um, uh, feature like we were looking for, where it, it handled everything that we wanted. And so we kind of broke it down into what we needed, and, and we need to be able to generate leads and manage those leads. We needed to be able to manage our referrals, our existing business, and we needed to be able to capture and uh, create uh, information um, that we, we gather, either through properties or through our system. Um, we went out there looking uh, at systems. Everything seemed to be in, uh, seemed to be in silos. Um, the current state of the industry was that you know, there were great website companies who would help us with websites and social media, and there, there were great websites out there, but they were standalone. And then um, there was good lead capture and marketing um, uh, capabilities, uh, but again, they were separate. You know, things like uh, Lone Wolf or, or those other systems were, you know, again, not totally integrated like what we were looking for. And then, you know, as we get into paperless um, and managing the closing um, process in a paperless and in a seamless fashion, again, those were even other systems that we had to deal with. So there was no two totally integrated um, capability. So what we felt was that there was a need for uh, what we're calling an agent CRM framework that looked at the entire real estate process and, and uh, helps us through it. And at the core would be a customer and property database uh, based on an open source CRM uh, framework. And then all these other services and features that we as realtors need to do our business would be driven off of that core database. Um, everything from blogging to lead capture to document management to uh, whatever we needed to do. Um, Let's talk about the lead capture. Um, everybody is uh, driving off of what we're calling uh, organic search engine optimization these days. How do you drive traffic to your website? And probably the most powerful way to do that is through WordPress. Again, another open source application. And by utilizing WordPress, you have the ability to, uh, with the right content and blogging correctly, you have the ability to drive traffic to your website. Well, but the more complicated thing is, okay, now I've got a WordPress website I have to deal with. Well, we've tried to make it very easy. So directly out of the system, we wanted the ability to uh, create your blog and create your content um, out of the, the integrated system so that it was as easy as posting an email. And when you did that, the long tail phrases and embedded controls and everything went along with it to um, place it in your uh, blog article and then also uh, do all the things uh, that we needed to do, such as cross-posting the blog article to all of our social sites so that we again, through what are called trackbacks, drive traffic back to our website, back to our original article, all this to help um, drive leads to our business. Now, when we tested this a couple of years ago, we wanted to see if it was possible to get on page one of Google for a search engine, um, for a search feature that we wanted to use. Not only were we able to get on page one of Google, we were able to get on page one of Google multiple times. And this was very powerful. This pro proved to us that you know, this really did work. So, but it was more than just the technology. We wanted to have the support of um, 
trainers and coaches out there. So we have um, we've asked uh, Jerry Rossi of Rossi Speaks to be part of this, and Jerry will uh, be uh, in charge of, of helping agents and firms with their branding and and how do you you create you know the thing who you are and, and create your brand on the web. And then we've um, we're working with Eleanor Thorne, who is one of the blogging experts for real estate, on. How do you blog and what do you blog about? And Eleanor actually has a company that will provide you with content, which we've got um, that capability integrated with the system, how, how all that would work. And then we want to be able to integrate with the other real estate coaches like Buffini and Ferry. Um, again, because this is an open source system, we can import information into it uh, for use. So it's more than just the technology. And then once we drive traffic, to our website, we want to be able to capture those leads directly into the system and be able to tell where they're coming from and, and uh, better manage those leads. Um, and we want a fully integrated uh, communication platform, not just email, but also tracking our phone calls that we make when someone calls us on our mobile phone, be able to have a pop on our mobile phone that shows who the client is, what properties they're looking at, so a completely integrated communication platform with the information and uh, marketing campaigns uh, as well. and uh, But because the system is based off of open source technology, it's very easy to integrate with third party applications. And because we're based on the Sugar Serum platform, a lot of this has already been done. So uh, it'd be very easy with, uh, there's already integrations with Constant Contact and part of the marketing system. And we, we feel pretty confident we could do integrations and, and pull in, you know, Buffini programs or Ferry programs. And uh, there's already uh, integrations, which we've already done with WordPress, um, IDX partners. Um, and we're talking to a transaction management, one of the largest in the country, to integrate with uh, their SureClose application, which is an automated um, closing uh, application and, uh, and that will be done uh, very soon and then uh, there's already integrations with things like Outlook so if you anything that you do in Outlook will be updated in the system and anything you do in the system can update your Outlook so you can continue to use Outlook um, and all your other tools there's already mobile support so you don't need to worry about uh, the mobile application so Again, it's a, a real estate CRM based on an industry standard open source technology based on the Sugar CRM um, Community Edition. So let's just take a look at it. And so this is the new version. It uh, looks very similar to the one we did a few years ago with some uh, minor changes. But um, so you, you'll notice that your main screen here, uh, again, everything is easily customizable. You can drag and drop information and place it anywhere that you want. Uh, you can add additional um, features, so I can add, for instance, um, a notepad. I can add additional charts if I want to uh, look at my pipeline by um, sales stage or opportunity by lead source, which we're tracking. Um, we can also do things like um, bring in news feed uh, all into one location, which I'll show you what that looks like here. So. I've got my task that I need to do. I'm being reminded here to write my new blog article. I've got my leads that are coming in from my website, and you'll notice it even shows me the lead source, where the lead is coming from. It's very important. Um, here's one of my RFS feeds. This one's coming from Inman News. And so the very latest in uh, news is, is brought into the system. And I can add as many of these as I want. I can totally customize it to my own preferences. Um, I've even got the ability to have my, my properties or properties that I'm working with my client here in the system to be able to track and keep up with. And we'll talk about that in a little more detail in a minute. Um, you can enter these in manually or what I did is we, we import them in through an XML feed from List Hub. Um, and then I can also see here and track my calls. So I've got a, a reminder here for one of my Brian Buffini programs to make this call. And then here are my meetings. And by the way, these meetings and everything are also integrated with my Outlook. Um, so uh, I don't have to um, you know, do with one or the other. They're both updated. And then here's my pipeline. 
and it, it tracks my pipeline by the real estate sales stage. So let's look at this in a little more detail. So um, looking at transactions, it, it understands things like accounts, and how would I use accounts? Well, I might use accounts to keep track of my uh, partners. So for instance, my other real estate firm, so this Remax Southern Advantage, for instance, um, they are uh, either a real estate industry partner or a real estate firm. And I can over here I can pick what uh, industry they're in. They're an appraiser, banking, communications, construction. So it's a way for keeping up with my uh, my partner companies, my bank, my appraisers, my real estate uh, attorneys, things like that. Um, my contacts are just what it says. These are my contacts. These are people that I've either already sold to or I'm listing their house. And so if I look at the first one here, for instance, um, I can see that they're a buyer and I can have all this information, which I, I don't have filled out, um, but I can have all the information about them. I can check whether I want to have it synced with Outlook, if they're on the do not call list. Uh, if I had what lead source they came in from, it would show up here. If I have them in a campaign, it would show up here. So all the information, including any documents, so I could actually have my um, my real estate contracts and documents right here uh, with their um, their contact information as well. So I don't have to have a separate system um, to go paper with this all right here in, in one place. Um, so let's look at opportunities, for instance. So let's look at this one opportunity. And uh, and so you'll see that the opportunity is sale listing for uh, 86 Cape Cod. If I want, I can put a contact in, in there. So it would be either my buyer or my seller. Um, here's the property. So if I click on this, it takes me to the property page where all the information about that property uh, is located. Um, it also has what my expected close date is where it is in the, set, in the sales stage process. So let's look at that for a second. Um, met with buyer seller, um, CMA, listing <coughs> presentation with buyer, listing or buyer presentation, property listed um, or buyer search started, showing offers under contract. So it understands the real estate listing process. And then my um, opportunity amount is my commission amount. And that can either be calculated or I can uh, put that in. Um, and then my lead source, how did this uh, come? It was a referral or came from uh, directly from my company, direct mail, word of mouth. So I can put uh, that in here. Um, and so when I do that and um, and I, I look at that uh, at my particular opportunity, you'll notice there's that information, but you'll also notice. Here's my activity. So listing presentation. This is a reminder to tell me I need to go do that listing presentation. But and here's history. Anything I've already done in the past. And here's my document. So here's an amended offer, um, which ha just happens to be a PDF. So if I want to look at the PDF, there it is. I can click on that, and I can open and view the PDF right here uh, within the system. So the contract is you know right here in front of me. And so when I put in all my opportunities, they all get updated on my main screen. And so I can track and see for the first time, I can see where are all my opportunities by their sales stage. And more importantly, all of my opportunities roll up within the company. So if I'm part of a team, uh, my uh, opportunities roll up into the team. And the team lead can uh, look at all of our opportunities together. Um, all the company opportunities or the, the office opportunities roll up to the office manager or big so that they can forecast and see what's going on within the office. And then more importantly, the company owner or the manager, it rolls up and, um, and they can see what's going on in the entire company. So a very powerful tool would be able to, for the first time, to see and forecast what's, uh, what's going on. But um, I mentioned that we had in the system the ability to do our blog posts. So right out of the system, uh, you know, we can create our blog posts and format them however we want. And then when we hit send, uh, it goes and it processes it and puts it in the correct format for our website. Um, so totally integrated with WordPress. This happens to be WordPress. Um, so that right out of the system, we are... Uh, posting to our web and uh, and uh, creating new content. Very easy to do. 
The other important thing is what happens if I uh, want to be able to capture leads from my website and have them you know, go directly into the system? Well, it has the ability for us to create what are called uh, web to lead uh, forms. And it's just a little word processor which within the system that helps us create our own um, web lead form so that when somebody uh, fills out the form and it comes into the system, it comes in as a lead and we can see where, where the lead source was. So, uh, and then the last piece um, that we've got, obviously, on the activities, which includes calendars and calls, and we may meetings, our, our opportunities, and campaigns, which the campaigns can either be imported from an existing campaign system that you're using, such as Athene or Ferry, and so you can have your, your campaigns running and assign campaigns to a group or to individual um, uh, leads in the system. Um, integrated email, and then the property module, which we uh, just showed you a second ago, it allows us to look at, um, at, at properties in the system and, uh, and uh, get more detail about the property. And, um, and when we do that, when we, have, when we look at the property in the system, it allows us to uh, also do imports. So we've got a little XML import here, which will import your XML feed from your list of accounts. So you don't have to re-enter uh, the property data if you don't want to. So basically, that's uh, a quick overview of the system. And uh, like we said, it's you know a complete CRM. It, it's uh, hosted in the cloud. It has full mobile support, blog integration, lead capture, um, campaign support. There's information in one place for your news, your customer information, your property, documents, your communications, everything. And there's already great, there's probably, uh, I don't know, a few hundred uh, third-party integrations. And we're looking to add the coaches, um, so your real estate coaches add their information as well. And it's open source, which means we've got full access to, uh, to all of the code. Um, so why this CRM? Again, it's based on uh, open source a system that is then used by IBM. Um, IBM just announced they're going to standardize on sugar cereal. Um, it uh, allows us <coughs> to focus on the real estate app while the open source community, um, they uh, work on the underlying technology. So we don't have to worry about that. We don't have to develop any of that. It leverages cutting edge systems. And it's not a, a, a standalone silo point solution. It's totally integrated with the front end website. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you need to get up with me, here's my contact information. And uh, I'll leave it up for just a second. But um, please feel free to contact me if you've got any questions about the system. And uh, we're looking to try to complete it and get it out to everyone. Uh, if you're an investor or you're a developer and interested in, in, in being a part of this, I uh, would love to talk to you as well. So again, thanks for your time.